everybody, my name is Cyprian. I'll walk you through this tutorial to obtain the image you see on the right corner. These are the other accessories you're gonna need apart from the camera and the lens. Uh, we're gonna start off by cutting four strips about an inch width of this board. You can get them in any art supply shop and probably DIY shops as well. We'll use some tape to attach these strips to the surface so they stay there and the liquid won't spill out. The way we're gonna do that, we're just gonna apply half the width of the tape on the on those strips and the other half will be attached to the will stick to the surface we're working on. When doing this, try to make sure you don't leave any holes in between the tape and the surface. Otherwise, the liquid, whatever it's milk, water, anything will just flow out and go through there and uh, just make a big mess. Now that we have the frame bolt and everything should stay there, um, we're just gonna try to take off the logo from the Nutella jar cap. Just gonna, just, that's just gonna bounce the liquid in a different way than we want it, so we're gonna start. I'm gonna cheat here and use the uh, this electric file. Um, it's just gonna be faster. Everybody can use whatever you have, you can use knives or anything, just be careful with those. To make sure that the cap will be in the same position after every shot, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a ball of tape underneath it and press it there so it won't move, it's just gonna stick to the table. So I don't move the camera, I'm gonna use a remote. Now uh, I'm gonna use the Hacknell, I'm not even sure how to pronounce that, uh, GRT Pro 2 wireless kit. It's just very handy to have, very good priced, and uh, it actually works as a time lapse remote as well, and it's kind of a one man army, it does it. That's everything you need. To trigger one of the flashes, I'm going to use the Elinchrom Skyport uh, remote. I'm going to cable for that. The other flash will work as a slate, so it's going to go on when. The cannon flash will light up. So I don't have the window reflecting on the surface. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take one of the white boards and just stick it down with tape. They're very light, so they should, that shouldn't get problem. I'm just going to position the flashes. One of them will be aimed at the background. The other one will be aimed straight at the um, Nutella cap. Um, they're both on minimum power, as low as you can go, so the strobe is going to be very, very fast, so it's just going to freeze the motion. I will do a test now just to make sure the exposure is alright. Um, maybe a couple of tests and then try to check our uh, histogram, see if everything is fine. Now, to get more light into the scene, you don't want to increase the, you don't want to affect the strobes, you're just going to increase the ISO, that shouldn't be a problem. Once we have enough light, we're just gonna take the milk and the remote in the other hand and try to sync ourselves to trigger the remote when the milk hits the cap and catch it in midair. We will have to do a lot of tests to get a lot of photos because then in the second part of this tutorial, we'll um, put them on top of each other in Photoshop and see what we can get. 
we will want to make a few shots when the ball hits the milk so we get kind of that those ripples on the milk exactly on the, the that second of impact in the next part we'll just drop all these photos on top of each other in photoshop and uh, we'll use a bit of lightroom as well